everybody it is Sunday and I am your host Anna um, this is going to be a I guess a part one to what I'm going to be doing to my haunted house or Halloween house um, the direction I'm going to go in I'm still not too positive about but I know I wanted to start painting her black and I actually had some of this washable black paint here in the house for the kids that they haven't used so I'm going to go ahead and use this because I'm trying to do everything economically and try to use as much as I have here at home. So this is what the house looks like, you guys. This is a buttercup model that I picked up um, from a thrift store a long time ago. And I got it for like $5 and it was in a really bad shape. And I started taking things off that were wrong and sanding her down. I did a video about my story and um, information about her yesterday and I will put that on my playlist later on this week but as you can tell she's in some pretty bad shape here and that's peekaboo um there's no windows there's no doors um basically everything is missing so I'm gonna go ahead and start painting her in the front Whoop. I'm gonna start painting her in the front yeah, I'll just put it this way and I just have some of my foam brushes. I'm going to be putting the paint on this right here just to help me. So how's everybody Sunday doing? How's everybody doing? And then I got some detailed brushes here I got from the Dollar Tree as well that I can use. And I'm taking out of the package right now in case I need to do a little corner type of painting. I'll put it here on the side where I can reach it. And I'm still doing a lot of work in here, as you can tell. This is dollhouse stuff here. These are all empty buckets, everything. You can't say there's all empty. And um, these are dollhouse items as well. Okay. The boys are downstairs. My husband's in the room watching a movie with a little Frank. So if you guys hear the movie, I apologize because they be booming up in there. He has like that subwoofer and everything attached to it, you know, so it can get pretty loud. Okay. It's okay. It's washable. I'm not worried if I get this on me because it is washable paint. It's already on my fingers. It's no big deal. <clears throat> I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to start. Now, I don't know how many, how long this is going to take me. Because this, the type of wood this is, it, it would tend to soak in. So sometimes you need to do more than one. And I may not even have enough paint in that one bottle to do the front of the house alone. I don't know. Trying to see if I could change you guys around a little bit so you can see a little bit about what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just trying to pay attention to the corners here. It gets a little rough here where I didn't sand down completely. But that's okay because this is going to be a witch's house. So it does not have to be perfect by any means. This was a pretty good um, plop of paint that I put on here on this brush and it's going by fairly quickly so I'm probably going to definitely have to find more black paint or any of the colors that I'm going to need to do what I need to do, obviously. I'll leave that for the detail brushes. And it's okay if you see the, the paint strokes and what have you, like I said, this is not supposed to be perfect by any means. So that's what we got so far. That's what it looks like so far, you guys. And I'm going to try to paint this side over here. Now, these brushes I got from the Dollar Tree, um, this first 
foam brush that I have is already kind of like messing up a little bit. And although this wood is very rough, which could be contributing to it, it's already breaking. So I, I don't recommend you buying these unless you're an absolute bind. Just they're not worth it. But you know, we live and we learn. It's no big deal. You're better off trying to grab them when they're on sale at Michael's or AC Moore or Hobby Lobby, wherever you shop. Because we don't have a Hobby Lobby here. I have a Michael's and AC Moore, but not a Hobby Lobby. I'm a little disappointed today. I thought we were going to go to the boat. And then I would have been able to visit. I'm sorry, my nose is itchy. I would have been able to visit um, the Dollar Tree out of town. But my husband's very tired. He's been working very hard. And he was not feeling it. But if he changes his mind, you guys will know because I will release a video showing us at the boat. I will definitely show a video with that. Yeah, because see the foam on this thing is already like crumbling at the end. Oh man, this sucks. I might have to just cut off the tip and try to work but if I cut it off. See, it's already broken right there. And you just keep on working on this end with it. Okay. Okay. It's going by pretty quickly if my brush wasn't literally falling apart. I might have to pull another brush out. I have this cute little pad here. This says, do the things that make you happy. And I have that here in front of me to remind myself that it's okay to want to do something for me. It's, it's, it's okay. Everybody should be able to feel that they can do something for themselves, something that um, makes them happy, whatever it is. If it's just reading a book, if it's doing a crossword puzzle, whatever your thing is. If it's gardening, if you like going out for walks because you like to connect with nature, whatever it is, hiking, golfing, whatever it is, you shouldn't feel guilty about doing it. You really shouldn't because everybody needs some form of therapy. And if that's your thing, then do it because you'll be better off at the end with your family and you'll be in better shape for it. And, um... Just go ahead and do this because if I want to change that color, this not going to be a big deal. If I want to change the color, no big deal. My boys are playing downstairs, as y'all can hear, because I know I can hear them, so I know you can hear them. They're literally at the bottom of the steps. It's a warm day outside today. I'm really looking forward to getting that fall weather again. We had gotten like some really good fall weather like a few weeks ago. Okay, this brush is done. That was horrible. That was like one of the worst foam brushes I've ever had to deal with. I'm going to use another one that I've ever had to deal with. I will never buy foam brushes from Dollar Tree ever, ever again. Never, never, never. They're horrible. But I was trying not to go to Michael's because I don't want to spend money there. You know, you go to Michael's and you see all this cool stuff and the new Davenport, Jane Davenport line is out. And I really enjoy her line. But I always wait till it's almost at the end of the season, right before they're about to bring something else out. And then I'll pick a few things up that might be left over because it's kind of expensive. So I only got, I think, three things from her line last time. Because it was kind of pricey. But her line is incredible. I mean, truly incredible. And again, this one, you could tell. This foam brush is, is giving me a hard way to go here. Okay. I'm going to get some more paint. I know I need to do some sewing. I need to do some um, clothes repair for my husband and for myself. I have some shirts that I need to 
fix some of the embellishments that are on it. And there's some shirts that I just want to change up in general that I'm not using anymore. But the fabric is just really pretty. And I just don't want to give it up because I, I'm just not feeling the look anymore. But I'm like, man, this fabric is nice. I got to be able to turn this into something else. Or at least try. So that's what my intention is. To try to do that. I'm trying not to go in so hard over these rough areas because this brush is not liking that. It's not liking that at all. And um, I've seen, I was watching some YouTubers this morning and um seeing what people are sharing hauling saw a couple of ones for the bible i saw some for holler i saw some for dollar tree i saw some blogs i saw preppers i saw some news truth news i saw just a variety of things while i was downstairs trying to make breakfast and um It's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. Everything is going on out there and you get to see different people's views on things and what have you. It's really interesting. I hope I'm not like blocking y'all with my big old head because I do have a large head. What did you guys think about the um, face mask? Huh? It was pretty funny, right? Those face masks are really cute. The animal face masks. If y'all didn't get a chance to see those, go check it out. It's just like a two minute long review of the face mask by um, Bessimo or something like that. Um, I think I got it from, from my Korean beauty um, boxes that I used to get. Or was it Mask Maven? It might have been Mask Maven I used to get it from. So it wasn't. But that's, that is also Korean beauty. It's also Korean beauty though. So, okay, I think I'm going to go in with a detail brush for these little things and then go over it one more time and let it dry. So I'm going to work on this front half. And I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what I am starting to do. Well, I hope you guys have a wonderful week well, not week it's the end of the week it's sunday hope you have a good sunday and i'm gonna continue to paint her and um i will talk to y'all later bye